Here we're taking a look at the new Workos TD11, this flat style tactical flashlight. It has two SFT25R LEDs and smooth reflectors, proximity sensor to reduce the output on the high level so you don't burn anything, tack bezel, clip on the rear, OLED display screen so it shows your real time of your Lumen output, runtime, and battery percentage. S uh, slider style uh, selector switch. Uh, smooth anodizing. USB C charging and this diffused side light. Two rear switches. And that's a two uh, dual stage switch there. So half press and full press and they, these two switches are made of plastic. Yeah, so we'll just go over the UI. So flick it to the left. So this is momentary only. So you've got momentary strobe, momentary, it's like uh, your half press of the main switch and release gets you the momentary last level, full press, momentary turbo, Flick it into the middle, gets you your lockout. So now the yeah, it changes. There's nothing it does for this main switch, and now you've got hold of this right switch. Gets you momentary of the last level. Flick the slider switch to the right. This gets you like a EDC mode, where this right switch can now controls the side light with RGB. And the main uh, left switch controls the main light. And they both uh, operate very similar to each other. So, yeah, so half press from off gets you, starts it on the lowest brightness level. Uh, one press on off on like your memorized level. Hold, so it's got smooth ramping on here. Hold, it increases the uh, brightness and yeah, increase, decrease, and you can see it increasing on the display. And the, uh, the you see the runtime and everything change in real time, which is pretty cool. I have not seen that on other lights with, uh, with a screen, so that's pretty cool. Uh, double press, turbo. One press uh, reverts back to the previous level. If you do double press, again from here it drops it all the way down to your low. Uh, triple press, oh, triple press, gets your strobe, double press cycles through your like SOS and beacon. And your, yeah, this, so hold from off, gets you your three lumens on the side light. Hold increases up to 350 lumens. And then, uh, yeah, like, like double press turbo, strobe etc so it's all the same as that switch but double press of this gets you RGB so hold of this cycles through the different colors so release and press again and it changes direction double press and it goes through these special modes so that's, that's like a warning light and then you've got all these special modes Yeah, so anyway, we'll just go over this uh, light just a bit, pros and cons. So first of all, it's got a boost driver. And uh, so you get flat, stable output, and it uh, yeah, boosts up to 3,000 lumens, even at like 50% battery, which is pretty cool. Good, really good build quality. I mean, yeah, it's uh, it's an okay build quality. I mean, this uh, there are some sort of mismatched, uh, parts here that are not really that flush especially like the the bezel it's quite rough and there's like a height difference so there's quite a bit of an edge to it and but yeah that's just been picky but overall overall it's pretty decent 
good uh, feeling on those switches. The slider switch is quite uh, stiff, so it's less likely to bump that in a pocket. Yeah, so yeah, uh, 370 meters I uh, measured on uh, turbo at the start for the range, which is pretty uh, good, very good. And the uh, sustained lumens is around yeah, 700, which is, that's very, very good. I was quite uh, surprised by that. The OLED, dis yeah, OLED display uh, for the real-time output, I absolutely love that. Yeah, so the I for me I don't know how well um, tactical and EDC goes on this kind of light. I mean the advertising it is a tactical light, and it is on that on that mode. Uh, but when you change it onto like the EDC level, EDC mode, it changes the operation of these two buttons, and uh, it's just it sometimes it confuses me, it messes me around. And especially on this lockout mode, if you're on tactical mode, a half press of the main switch gets you momentary of the lowest level, and then you put it over onto your lockout mode, and it's no longer momentary of your lowest on this switch, but now it's on this switch. So that's weird to do that. And then for yeah, for this you got the side light. Uh, to really I. Uh, for this style of light, I just would not use a side light. I mean, it doesn't it's okay that it has it on there? It's just that it changes the operation, and uh, it is just a bit confusing when you're wanting constant light. There's nowhere to get constant light on the tactical mode, and then you change to like this EDC mode, and then it just changes all the operation of what everything does. So I don't particularly like it. Uh, but if you're looking for something that's tactical and EDC plus a side light, then it's a great light. It's just not something that I enjoy myself. So currently it's advertised at 70 US dollars and for that price you're getting up there with Nightcore. Workos is more a buy direct for cheap price kind of brand. They don't support retailers and uh, for Nightcore uh, much higher build quality, you've got a longer warranty at two years for the EDC series. And if you have a look at like the EDC 23 from the Nightcore US website, it's got uh, $75 on there. Uh, that is That uh, model is not quite as long range. It's uh, 280 meters range and 2,500 lumens, but it's a much higher quality light uh, to your warranty for this uh, you've got only uh, one year warranty on this and uh, so I just think they, they're, yep, they're pushing it with the price that they're asking for even that it does have more features but yeah uh, I'll let you guys uh, decide on uh, what you think about the, the price is it worth it or is it not Thank you.